At the cemetery in Potocari, 20-year-old Belma says a prayer for the father she never knew. Haris Malagic was one of thousands of victims of the Srebrenica massacre, the worst atrocity of the Bosnian war. He was killed on July the 15th, 1995, the day Belma was born. Some 8,000 Muslim men and boys were killed by Bosnian Serb forces who overran the Srebrenica enclave. They were buried in mass graves. Many families, like Belmers, spent years waiting for the remains of their loved ones to be identified and laid to rest. 11 Belma's family rarely talks about the war, but she was desperate to learn more about the father she never met. She asked her mother, Sadina, to share all her memories of Hariz, which Belma then gathered into the book she wrote about him, The Power of Destiny. <laughs> Belma was able to learn her father's story and keep his memory alive through her writing. Others are taking to the road to recall the mass killings. Mirsad Dudic and his daughters travelled from the United States to join a three-day march that will arrive in Srebrenica for the anniversary commemorations. The march follows the reverse route of the path taken by Mirsad and other Muslims who fled for their lives during the massacre. <laughs> Their home is a world away from Srebrenica, but Dudic's daughters say the lasting impact of the massacre is always with them. Mi smo izgubili preko 50 članova naše porodice. Ne može da se Ne može da dan prođe da se nekako ne sjeti da neko nedostaje, uvijek neko nedostaje. To je, to je dio naših života kada diplomiramo, kada bilo nekako slavlje imamo ili tužne stvari, uvijek neko nedostaje. Sada živimo u Americi, u Richmond, Virginia i ovdje dođemo koliko god možemo, ali nama u Srebrenci je teško zato što nam je sve ponešteno. A... As they follow the road back to Srebrenica, the survivors are able to share their stories with others, perhaps drawing some comfort 20 years after the massacre.